In this lesson, we will learn how to use CSS in our time lift templates. We will also learn how to dynamically add and remove CSS class in time lift templates. So let's get started. For CSS and JavaScript files, the default directory is source main resources static. So this is a default directory for uh, CSS and JavaScript. So I have pre-created a sample CSS inside CSS directory called main CSS. Now we will be using this CSS in our templates. So we load the tiles, style sheets using the link tag um, with special href attribute. We only need to specify the path after the static that is CSS the path after static is CSS and the file name the main.css. In this case so the the syntax is C CSS slash main.css uh, using URL link. So I'll use the uh, now I'll create a sample button using um, using this style sheet. Let me start. This will use uh, button three CSS class from main.css. So this one. So this is a button and button three. So both the classes are will be used to display our button. So let's start this. Gradle run. So let me load the. So this will load it red, which has come from our CSS. So we can also use CSS inline. Um, so we have used from the CSS file. Um, we can also use inline style uh, using inline styling within the element using style. So something like this. So this is the inline CSS. So I used style and then the text comes from the um, backing bean that is message. So let me show you the bean as well. Sorry, the controller. So this is a message. Welcome to course late. And this message will be displayed using the inline CSS. Not from the file, but I uh, mentioned within the attribute, within the element. So this is a CSS I'm using. So let me start the application. So this is a message I have from the backing bin and then which uses the blue color within the, um, using the inline styling. And we'll also see now how to dynamically change the uh, dynamically change the CSS class. So time lift comes with something called th class append. Let me show you. I'll just display the message. So, and I'll disp I use two buttons, and so now the class append is n nothing but uh, create for adding a style class to an element without overwriting the existing defined classes. So I add existing defined classes button, and then I'm overriding this or appending the new class to the existing style. So button is a, a existing class of the CSS and now I am appending the button one, but that is based on the condition. So if it is a green, then it will be button one 
or if it is not green then it will be button true let me show you what I have created in the controller so I'm saying that if it is green is true then so when is green true true then it will be button one when blue is true then it will be button one but I said blue is false so it will take button two so the final will be like something like this so the, this one will evaluate to button one then this one will be evaluated to button two or button two because blue is false if it is false this condition is false then it will go to button two so let's see the working of this i saved the application and just restart the application So if you see here the, the there's a green and blue button so this will change the we can change the class or append the append the CSS class dynamically based on the condition to the existing one so existing class is button I am now adding a new CSS class to the existing class that is here in this case button one and button two this is how time list comes with class append attribute that can that was created for adding style class to an element without overwriting the existing defined classes so i'm not overriding the button but i'm appending to the button the button one we saw the default location for css and javascript that is main java resources static and how to load css using link and use them in our time lift templates we also saw inline styling within the element using style and we also saw how dynamically add and remove css class in time lift templates that's it from this lesson thank you for watching see you in the next lesson